I was concussed in 2011, cross-country skiing in Gatineau Park. It was a skier that had lost control and came down the hill on the wrong, wrong side of the hill and ran into me. Before my concussion, I was doing research actively in paleobiology. So I was looking at fossil evidence from the Canadian high Arctic, looking at the evolution of mammals and ecosystems in response to climate change. And my research involved doing field work. Every summer I would do field work. I had graduate students. I helped the museum with exhibits and had various other responsibilities related to uh, helping with the collections. After I sustained the concussion, I found I had a lot of difficulties with my job. So I had a lot of symptoms, for example, I had headaches every day and nausea. I had trouble concentrating and putting my thoughts together. Reading and writing became really difficult. And even walking, I felt off balanced a lot of the time. Like the ground was moving under my feet even when I was just standing still. And there was this fatigue that would just take over the day and I would even have dreams about trying to find places to go lie down because I would just spend the whole day completely exhausted. So over the years, I worked with a lot of different doctors and worked through a lot of different kinds of therapies and have made some gains. So for example, I've done vision therapy, um, I've had medication to help me with sleep and concentration and headache and probably the biggest thing was learning how to manage my pacing so that I could uh, be healthier and um, have as little fatigue as possible to get through the day. But even with all of these efforts, it wasn't enough. Um, in the end, I had to do a medical retirement in 2016. Since my medical retirement, I've continued doing some therapies, um, including uh, therapies for some physiological dysregulation. So I was having, um, and I still have challenges related to exercise intolerance, so I've been working on that, and I've been working a lot on um, managing my sleep and my pacing better, and I've still continued to make improvements. And this has allowed me to have some time in my day where I'm functional enough that I can do things like this kind of interview. I also do um, some research, collaborative research with colleagues related to my field of interest, which is paleontology.